پرمیسبل فار یو دیٹ یو ٹیک ویمن ایز انہیریٹنس فورسبلی نو دس واز اے ویری بیڈ کسٹم ان دی امنگ دی اربس بیکاز سم پرسن مائٹ ہیو ٹین وائفس مے بی دیٹ ہی ہیز سن اونلی فرام ون اور ٹو all the rest are issueless now this son after the death of the father he will inherit these wives of father they are not mothers for him the mother is only out of who, whose womb he was born she is only the mother not all the other wives so they are also like property and they inherited them and they had all control just as the owner of a property has a control over it he can do anything with it so they used to do anything with them control them they were the inheritors of their mothers step mothers and also they used to marry them although they were the mothers they were married to their fathers but this was the custom in arab although they disliked it but it was there in the, in the coming following ayah you will find this also now this is being reformed here don't do this this is wrong the women are not like property not like camels or goats or sheep to be inherited ya ayyuhallazina amanu la yahillu lakum an tarisu an-nisaa karha wa la ta'zuluhunna litadhhabu bi ba'd ma ataytumuhunna and second mischief which was being done to the women was one has married a wife and he has given her a big sum lot of gold as a dowry as a bridal money now after some time he is you know somehow or the other he is putting her in difficulty so that she wants a divorce and then he would say now return to me the wealth that i gave to you then i will let you go otherwise you have, have you will have to remain here and you will have to have all the persecution that i i give to you so that is the second thing that is being corrected here let us have be ba'd ma ataytumuhunna and don't cons- put constraints upon them so as to take from them some part of that which you gave them at the time of the marriage illa yatina bi fahishatin mubayyana now this punishment can be given only in case if they have committed adultery if they have committed such a big crime then they deserve punishment not in any other case wa asiruhunna bil ma'ruf and live with them in a or in an honorable way in a gentle way on a rebel way live with them muashara aashiru hunna this is muasharat but this muashara should be in a very gentle way on a rebel way they are also human beings don't treat them as as captives don't treat them as as, as cattle they are also human beings aashiru hunna bil maaruf wa in karehtumu hunna if you dislike them maybe somebody had some fancy for some woman and he and he you know married her but later on he developed some dislike for her wa in karehtumu hunna fa asa an takrahu shay'an wa yaj'al Allah fihi khayran kaseera if you somehow dislike them but you must think that maybe that you might be disliking disliking something and Allah might have put the much good in it for you so give keep, keep it to the to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and don't you know decide all the matters for your own self so even if some aspect of that woman is not liked by you try to look into her personality another aspect is her character her knowledge her gentle behavior that might make her lovable for you wa in aratu istibdal azawjin makan azawjin and now if this relationship between wife and and husband is strained and one wants to change to divorce one wife and have another wife in in marriage in aratu mistabdala mazawjin nakana dawjin if you have decided you want to change one wife for another one wa ataitum ihdahunna qintaran and you have given to the former wife to the first wife heaps of gold qintaran even heaps of gold you have given them لَا تَأْخُذُوا مِنْهُ شَيْئًا Now you cannot take it back from them. 
یو کین ناٹ ٹیک اینی تھنگ فرام بیک فرام دیم اتا خدو نہ ہو بہتان ڈو یو وانٹ ٹو ٹیک اٹ بیک سلینڈرنگ دیم وا اسم مبینا اینڈ اٹس اے مینیفیسٹ سن اٹس اے ویری کلیئر سن ناؤ اف یو آر ڈائورسنگ ہر وٹ ایور یو گیو ہر اٹ از ہر پراپرٹی لیٹ ہر ٹیک اٹ اوے ود ود ہر ڈونٹ ٹیک اینی تھنگ بیک دس آیا واز کوٹڈ بائی این اولڈ لیڈی ان دی ٹائم آف دی کیلیفیٹ آف حضرت عمر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ During the caliphate of Hazrat Umar رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ it became customary with the Muslims to have big sums of dowry alf alf dinar well I, I give okay, in dowry so the, the caliph the pious caliph Hazrat Umar thought it is wrong it must be controlled so he put a ceiling he issued an ordinance that now there will be no meher more than this ceiling this limit Now a lady, an old lady, he stopped him on his way and said to him, O oh Umar, how can you put a limit on our right? This is the right of women. We can demand whatever dowry we want. And this is the right granted to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah has not put any limit to that dowry, who are you to put a limit? And she quoted this ayah. When Quran says, if even you have given one of them heaps of gold, you can't take it back from them. So there's no limit to the sum of dowry and you can't fix a limit or a ceiling to it. And then Hazrat Umar Radhi Allah Ta'ala said, today a woman has taught Umar the deen of Allah. And he took back his command or his ordinance ordinance abrogated and how can you take that dowry back from your wife while you have been very close to each other while you have been going into her you had that relationship of husband and wife قَدْ أَفْضَى بَعْضُكُمْ إِلَىٰ بَعْضٍ وَأَخَزْنَ مِنْكُمْ مِسَاقًا غَلِيزًا And they had taken from you the solemn pledge and solemn covenant. This nikah is a very sacred covenant. It's a very sacred agreement. So after nikah and at the time of nikah you have given her that much amount, that much property in dowry as a bridal money. Now you count, you know in the western society because in Christianity there can be no divorce. Once married, married forever. The Catholics up till date, they don't allow any divorce. They only allow you can live separately. You can't divorce. And even if you are living separately, you can't marry anybody, anybody else. Neither the man nor the woman. The Protestants now are allowing divorce. But only if you can prove, if one of the spouses can prove, you know, that the other spouse has committed adultery. For that, you know, now the cases and the fabrications and all those things, the cases, you know, fought on the basis of this. And even then, they don't also allow no marriage. You know, King Edward VIII, he had to abdicate the throne because he married a widow, American woman. The Church of England didn't allow him. No. She, she was divorced or she was a widow. How can you marry her? You can't marry a widow. And the same case happened with Margaret, the princess. She couldn't, she was not allowed to marry Townsend, Captain Townsend. Same case is happening now between Diana, Lady Diana and the, the, Charles, yes. How? If he gives the divorce, then he will have to abdicate the throne. The throne will go to the son now, not to him. So these are the rules in Christianity. Because, you know, there is no divorce, no concept of divorce in Christianity. But in Islam, you know, there is divorce. Maybe that the both cannot reconcile. Maybe their likes and dislikes are very much different, opposite to each other. They can't live together in harmony. With, with love and affection. 
so it's better to separate and he can marry also and she can marry also after the idda after that time at that period has finished wa kayfa ta'khudunahu wa qad afza ba'dukum ila ba'din wa akhadna minkum misaqan ghaliza this nikah i was saying is misaq ghaliz it's very solid covenant wa la tankihu ma nakaha aba'ukum min an-nisa and don't marry those women who were married to your fathers they used to marry the mothers the step mothers they thought my mother is only the woman out of her whose womb i have been born now this this was the wife of my father but she is not a mother to me islam has raised the status of women every woman married to your father is your mother you can't marry her wala tankihu ma naka abaukum min an-nisa illa ma qad saraf except what has already passed you know you have to condone whatever has been committed mistakes before these commandments were revealed so those mistakes have to be condoned illa ma qad saraf what has happened happened forget about it but now abide by the rules innahu kana fahishatan wa maqta it was very indecent and very hateful wasa sabila and in a very evil way to marry the wives the widows of the deceased father 